Malo soy fua. Congratulations on being alive. If you're listening to this, it is um, Friday, December 18th, 2020, and it is 3.38 a.m., and I cannot go to sleep, so I am creating this podcast um, before... December 21st, before the solstice and the great conjunction, before the new, ready for the new era. If you believe in that, I believe in it. Um, so, and I'm also on my period, so shit. Cannot, you know, gotta have babies, you know. This is one of my creative babies, one of my spiritual babies I've been working on. So, welcome to. Fofongava, a virtual fala, a sacred healing space to voice and face everything underneath the moon, sun, stars, and beyond. And I am your lovely hostess, with the mostess, Fia Fia Lawia Esther. And before we we start, um, we must always start with protocol, as my beloved late Auntie Sina La Mostele told me back in 2017, before I went to Samoa for the first time. She told me, she told me, we uh, every village has a protocol. Respect that. So I apply this to the whole world and we are always on native territories and uh, in case you didn't know, happy indigenous people's day every day. And um, we're beginning with an opening ceremony and opening the space in a good way. And I learned this way of ceremony from my own Samoan upbringing. and from countless local and global local (laughs) native and indigenous communities in my family and my work with the Lummi Peacemaking Circle leadership team um, from Lummi tribal member Shasta Kena Martin who learned from Sarum Fong who was of Kamai heritage who learned from the Tagish Clinket First Nations in the Yukon Territory. And the teachers were Harold Gatinsby, Kay Pranis, Barry Stewart, Mark Wedge. And these are the teachers who passed on this type of peacemaking circles for the purpose of healing all communities. So I always want to honor my teachers in the lineage of how I learned ceremony. And um, this is my edition and also very contemporary edition, also not a water and land acknowledgement. 
um, to follow a prayer. And I would like to begin with a water and land acknowledgement to Talo, prayer and blessing. I humbly offer a prayer and blessing to the first peoples whose land I live, study, work, and record this on. I praise the Lakdamish, Lakdamish, Lami, Nuxak, and many other Coast Salish people for taking care of these lands and waters since time immemorial. Thank you for keeping these places beautiful and bountiful. I ask for forgiveness for being on these lands and waters overdue to broken promises in the 1855 Point Elliot Treaty. I ask forgiveness for being on these waters and lands without proper protocol, without proper introduction, and without proper gifting. I ask that I offer one half of my time and one half of my resources that I have whenever requested. It is only that I have these riches because of living on your current ancestral territories. I am grateful to be on the traditional Salish Sea territories where I was born, on the Puyallup um, tribes, and I was raised on Shoshone, uh, we're in Boise, and I just want to say thank you to all the people whose ancestral territories I have lived on, and um, give shout out to the Ohlone where I first came, and with my mom, and I'm still learning, so I want to give thanks to all the first people here on the Turtle Island. I'm grateful to be you know, in the traditional Salish Sea territories where I was born for the last 20 years and plan to be for a long time. I ask forgiveness from my ancestors to your ancestors and will teach future generations truth, love, forgiveness, faith, hope, and unite for a peaceful world. I raise my hands to you all. Haishka Siam. Fafatai to the lava, much respect in the alofa, fia fia lawi'a Esther. And I could totally send a copy of that and sign it to you anytime. I have it prepared. <sighs> so, I apologize if I breathe really loud into the microphone. I'm like a sexy telemarketer here with my headset over here old school headset but it was my favorite price it was free and i am not going to complain and so again welcome to fafonga va a virtual fala a sacred healing space to voice and face everything underneath the moon sun stars and beyond and the theme for this show is a pilot episode so this is going to be an introduction of myself and Fofongava, a virtual fala. So who, what is, does Fofongava, a virtual fala mean? So from Nanga, Samoa, please forgive me for mispronounce, I'm learning, and language. So from the Samoa, Nanga, Na, language, um, Fofo, like Fofo, it means like massage or healer. And Fofo Nava has a deep and lateral poetic meaning, but simply the word standing alone means healing, voice, face, or healing element. And I will update this to definition throughout time. And Va, the space relationships between space between you and me. This podcast is a sacred space for mine and you slash your truths to process and our stories. And Fafongava is to provide a space that encourages and supports mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual health. Healing is our divine right and needed all the time. Healing is not a singular event, but a journey, and sometimes we need company along the way. It's to be on. Thank you for being on my journey. 
and a virtual fala in the Oceana um, communities. You know, falas are ambiguous. They're everything and all things are done on falas. Talk, stories, gatherings of immense esteem in Samoa. We do everything. We break bread, we pray, we sleep on them, you know, on falas together. Pre-colonial times, babies were born falas, elders passed away on falas, even visitors are given falas to sit on and consider disrespectful or not. Falas are always shared and are at most important events, family heirlooms. The falas can um, be undermined and overlooked at times. And it is vital that I share with you all the meaning and etymology, the origins and roots of where these words come from. I'm still learning and will share updates. And hopefully, if more soon, we'll have some guests, um, some native Samoan speakers. You know who you are. Um, ask them to come on this, onto this platform and share their thoughts and feels on this term. And we get to learn together. Smiley face, yes, that's in my notes. So, what is Fafonga Ba like? What's it about? Um, like, what does that mean for me? It's it's to creatively indigenize this space and talk about everything, you know, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, all those parts. Expand the platform and mainstream for other. Pacifica, Oceana, Micronesian, Melanesian, all the nations, all the indigenous, all the everybody, poor working class and global indigenous, um, black, people of color, people of global majority, and, you know, and share personal testimonies and knowledges and tools of healing. And the main purpose of Fofong Lava is a, virtu a virtual fala is to heal is to heal by facing ourselves, which is most, sometimes the most hardest person. I know for me, um, but before I dive deep in, you know, uh, I wanna let you know introductions, you know, like who, who is my name? As I said, who's my name? Cause you know, what is like, it's like a possession is object. What is like, you know, but who is like a relation? And who's your name means like who you carry. So you see, you know, um, for me, Fia Fia Lawia, Esther is, um, is my poet name. I'm not sure more about that, but you know, Fia Lawia, Esther, La Mostele, those are the names I was born with, those are the names my family gave to me. Or some, there's some people who chose, you know, were given names and chose to have different names or change names as the other, you know, other um, events and circumstances and relationships, you know, or events, you know, it's there's so many passages of how people change their names and I just want to share where I'm from. And so for introductions, you know, who's my name, um, who I am and where am I and checking in. So I am Fia Lawia Esther and I currently live on the traditional territories of Lummi, Nooksack and many other Coast Salish nations currently known right now as, um, right now in this room, Ferndale, Washington, but I'm going to be going to Custer, Washington, and I grew up most of my life in Bellingham, Washington, USA, and I was born on the traditional territories of Puyallup tribe of that's Tacoma, Washington, USA, but I um, am from, from, from Samoa, that's where my parents are from, and um, Fia Filawi, as yes, like I said, is my artist name and part birth name, and honoring my grandma's name, Filawi Eseka. And Fia Fia, it means get together, you know, celebration and real happiness and parties, you know, everybody loves Fia Fia nights. And, and for this, I hope to share throughout the whole podcast and space and life, you know, Fia Fia, and real stuff, you know, real shit. And Fia Lawi is my given name, and I'm still learning about this name. Do you know if someone out there, family, anybody know about my name? Please tell me. Please tell me. <laughs> but what I know from many 
uh, folks in books slash Google. Um, it is an old Samoan name that a high chief would name his daughter. Um, it is also a dish and a name of a now obsolete high chief ceremony that dealt with cannibalism. Mic drop. <laughs> I'm I'm wholly delicious and I'm gonna eat ya. I know that's what I thought. And Esther is my middle name and <laughs> you know, um Esther is my middle name and I was named after, you know, according to the Bible, but I'm also reading like it was novella. We'll check that I'm just but on the Jewish Queen Esther who um, protected her people against genocide, risking her life by speaking up against the king. And so that's who Queen Esther is. And she also who inspired me to help push my ass to get this podcast in space open. And I also mean star in person. And there's more story. We'll share more about her. She's just a badass. So I just want to share her and and I got a little poem of who I am. I brought this poem. This is I get this shout out to my cousins, to um, my kasengi or my um, salsangas out there, um, who always rapped and stuff. And I always wanted to have a rap, so this is what I wrote. <sighs> I'm a survivor, thriver. Fafa queer, indigenous Samoan, Chinese, German, American, woman X. Artist, poet, writer, scholar, healer, spiritual leader, earth child, <laughs> angelic troublemaker, peacemaker, silly, serious, poor, working class, boss. Capricorn, year of the horse, highly functioning introvert, INFP type. Oldest daughter, sister, cousin, niece, auntie, friend, tree hugger, earth seed believer, and just a soul having a human experience. Thanks. Thanks. So checking in. How am I doing? How am I coming into this space? Thoughts and feelings. I started a little bit earlier, right when I shared. I'm freaking tired. And I just have all this energy going on. And I have this cool, if you see my back, oh, I don't know if you see my altar, but I have some candles going on and um, sending white light to all those who are struggling, all those deaths in the family, all those who are sick. All those who are struggling, I lit that candle for you. So, you know, I have all my needs met. And there were times when it wasn't, you know. And now I'm right now in this space where I really want to be diligent that I make sure other people have this type of space too. And I'm just really tired and really exhausted and I can't sleep. Just thinking about my friends and families and how much I love you. And um, I actually have a little um, I actually have a little sound clip to share with you actually. Interesting. Uh, it's pretty intense, but you know, living into my new home, moving out of this home that's you as you can tell it's really quiet um, at night. I don't really wanna during the day because of people got businesses working and stuff and and you know me I ain't gonna stop anybody from getting, getting between their bread and butter and um, but yeah I really want to share a sound clip earlier when I was trying to record uh, for the for this podcast for the and I'm excited so I'm gonna pause this for a moment and switch it on over um, to the podcast oh my gosh it was so interesting so I, I called this poem here so if you ask me how I was doing so I was doing oh. 
All right, I'm gonna pause myself. So I'll call this one World Rule 3. Sounds like a war zone out here. War Rule 3. But it's not. Just regular Saturday, regular afternoon. I've lost count of how many shots I try to count. I hear the frogs in the background. You shoot me on accident on purpose. That would be an accident. This is my new home. I thought I left the ghetto. I moved into another one. But there's potential. There is potential. Looking out for bears or coyotes. <laughs> In case I die, this is my last testament. <laughs> I swear I try to live this time. I swear. Is it over? Nope, five o'clock will be off. <laughs> We're sundown, I believe. Kailo Ote Leiloa. I wish you could see the trees where I'm at. They're beautiful. But they're young and there's no adult ones around. How are they supposed to know how to grow? Cut down all the big mama trees, papa trees, garden guardian trees. I put a fucking parking lot in a gun range. I'm not gonna try to take your fucking guns. I just want you to be responsible. Papa Tai, Amole Mole, please. a little bit of my poem I'm not gonna lie I totally smoked after that I totally said I smoke so I don't kill it was a big blast after that but <sighs> so I'm doing this my new neighborhood I'm gonna go to iTunes again I'm here I miss my friends I'm the same people. I have my partner. I really the same people. I miss holding hands. Hmm. I don't know 
my god, I have your own current events. No, I'm just yeah, there's like fucking client emergency, Fiji Samoa so client clones. Free Western Sahara WTF is 2020. Why do we still have human trafficking? Why do we still have fucking rapes? Why do we still have sexual assault? Why do we still have modern day slavery? Why do we still have prisons? Why do we still have poverty? Why are people still hungry? Why do people all have homes and there's empty vacant buildings? And I fear the history is like Arab colonialism, imperialism, and oppression. And and I think about how like you can name anything that's like anti-human, anti-life. And and I think like we have like this huge thing of amnesia. People were just like you know I remember back to a teenager learning from the Pachamama Alliance. And Peru down south, and Peru, and and um, I met Kirilanka Kelcher. She wanted to play the real life Pocahontas. Check that movie out if you haven't seen that. And it was just like a trip when she was just sharing about what was going on, and I was like, "What? He was sleeping? What do you mean? I mean, we're still awake. They're walking around. We mean like, but like they're sleeping. People walking around, alive, asleep." And we need to wake up. And so my visions for the future is for people to wake up. And people are waking up. I believe that being at home. You know, I keep thinking about people being at home. And that some folks are not in safe situations. And I am glad to be enough to be in a safe enough situations. And how do I deal with folks who have different political views? And I'm like, I'm trying to focus on the views of where we do believe where I'm like I ain't gonna try to kill you all right if you're trying to kill me go to shooting range <laughs> oh gosh this is a trip I don't know what to do I miss people I miss parties I'm Fia Fila we gotta have no parties <sighs> and that's why I have these events happening and starting this podcast and and I'm just really, you know, I'm really excited, you know, this is me checking out. I'm just really excited to just start this, you know, this podcast as a way to keep continuing have different themes. But I just want to introduce myself and introduce what this space is about. And you know, okay, my closing ceremony is my I share this for the healing tall noanga which I'll share in the future podcast, I promise, 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 promises. And um, faith is stronger than fear. Faith is stronger than fear. I got that from climbing poetry, I love them. And just wanna pray for the world. So just send white light, send rainbows, I wanna send everything good healing vibes healing love to this world to the universe to every cell in your body and in my body every plant every ant to all the water to the mountains to the sky to the sand to the hairs on your head to the stars in the sky to everything black holes to those digging holes those mole holes every every single part bless every single heart I'm tied to the lava I love you so Fatu and I want to give also special puppet ties to those who helped me put these ideas. I want to thank my mom for her thumbs up and giving me the awesome, like, um, perfect look of, like, kind of like, or the, um, I don't know if I said that right, but like, um, 
like kind of look confused but also like intrigued or like oh i want to know more i'm like oh, so i just want to i'm so excited thank you mom for your support i also want to thank lele and lacina you know i'm always giving you a shout out i love you um for our our conversations on on this on this beautiful suggestion of this name and your support you know since we first get, you know, came good for, you know, new good friends. And I also want to give it a shout out to my friend Onga, enough awesome friend, Moni Billy. I thank you so much for your support and helping me with the pronunciations and for rooting for me. And so I really appreciate you and also being my awesome teacher. So thank you so much. And I want to give a shout out to my brother Ben, Benjamin Cruz, Benjamin Uoto Cruz, I love you, who shows up for me always, and I want to give a shout out to my, oh my gosh, my partner, friend Holloway, for feeding me, for loving me, for being, being my rock during this time. He's the one on quarantine, so please pray for him. Please, everybody. <laughs> He's stuck with me. <laughs> and, um, I also want to give special shout outs to my soul fam. Thank you, Bob, friend Gordon, Leslie, my sibs, Juan, oh, to, to my RC fam. You know who you are. I love you all. I just want to give special buffet ties to my teachers to student oh my god there's oh my god there's so many people i want to give off a ties to but i want to try to keep this short i take that back i want to add some special profit ties to polly by design carl and naki i love you and thank you for your unconditional love and support since this whole quarantine and i can't wait to hug you all and also to Essence of Mana, Journey to Empowerment, Nani and Lou. Thank you for showing up and Wednesdays and just being you and for your amazing and inspiring communication and community work. I love you all. And shout out to Lenafa, my badass teachers. Um, and so I'd like to give a shout out to Auntie Audrey, Sister Jasmine, Brother Moni, which I already did earlier. I just want to give you all shout outs and Sister Nora, Auntie Nora. Like I thank you so much for having a space um, to practice language. And I'm so excited that I get to be in your class again for the next cohort. So sign up for classes, y'all. And also like to another like um to Samoan community development. I really want to give shout outs to Trisha and and just the whole community, whole crew. And I just really appreciate you all and your support. And I'm just oh, yes to the Samoan wellness initiative just appreciate you all and i really want to give a shout out to pisa con to mac out in portland for all your supports and the holding those spaces and also to oh my gosh how can i forget uprise uprise thank you for providing the spaces for our high schools and for our young people and for college students too for us and community members like i got to bring my mom and my brother to one of their events and it was life-changing thank you keep up keep up keep doing what you got to do keep up the awesome amazing work and to shout outs to beautiful utopia oh utopia fam utopia universe utopia seattle portland san fran to all utopia fam and i'm excited and i also my healing town Nawanga, wednesday family everybody everyone who showed up everyone who has shown interested I thank you all and I love you. And so I really want to give you a special shout out to that. Afitai, love you. I 
under half an hour or by half an hour, at least for myself. I love you all and I'll talk to you later. Thank you for attending the show and I hope you like it. And let's, uh, goodbye. I'll see you later. Tofa, soy fua, and I love you. Wow.